All right, how's it going? So we had a article to read, so we're going to go through that. Um, the idea of the article is a picture-perfect American family. Um, okay, before we get into this, I, I understand the article is supposed to teach us, like, institutional child abuse, but we didn't really relate that back to child abuse, so I don't know, honestly, what, like, the point of the article was, but, um, Okay, so first thing, discussion questions, we got seven of them. Um, first discussion question, is there such a thing as a perfect family? Now, of course, you know, the succeeding slides will obviously go through all these questions, so I'm just going to read them right now. Um, again, number one, is there such a thing as a perfect family? Uh, question number two, how have families changed in recent years? Number three, what has become the new ultimate desire for starting a family? Number four, what has been a major influence historically in how people structure their families. Number five, how has the influence changed? That, that We're the dodly, but we're going to get into it. Don't worry. Um, six, how has there been a complete society, societal, it should be societal, acceptance of varying family structures? And seven, how will the future look if current trends going on. So the picture for his family, um, you know, obviously we got the picture here, um, you know, Chevy Chase and the, you know, the film Vacation, you know, obviously a quirky movie, obviously a quirky family, but, you know, it kind of illustrates that idea of, you know, the perfect family, the man, the woman, the two kids, you know, the son and the daughter, and, you know, they, you know they've got the nice house, you know, they've got the job, and they can go on vacation, things of that nature, whatever. Um, so even still today, there's this talk of the idea of this perfect family. And, you know, what we found is, well, there isn't really a, a perfect family as far as structure wise, um, but people still discuss it, um, especially by politicians. And in the article, basically, that's what the major discussion is. Again, you know, don't know what that has to do with child abuse, but OK, um, especially discussed by politicians. You know, we open up talking about, you know, People like Obama, people like Cheney, things like that, and the idea that, you know, they're talking about their families, and that should be the deciding factor for them to get elected, right? Um, you know, when there are more pressing matters like well, what's going on with wars, what's going on with the country, but they spend all this time talking about their family because that's the most important thing. Um, again, you know, the idea of the man, the woman, the biological children, that very kind of traditional structure. Family is the idea of the perfect family. Um, prior presidential campaigns, so that's what I'm talking about. Sarah Palin, obviously not the president stuff, but you know, in Alaska, Sarah Palin, things like that. Um, talking and really focusing on the family um, in an attempt to connect with the people to make it, you know, oh, they're a family person. They have that, you know, strong family. Um, so what's different? How things change? So the picture we see here, you know, the idea of, the, you know, the 50s family and, you know, that artwork has become very, very popular. It is utilized in a lot of things. It's referenced to a lot of things. I know everyone's trying to always, you know, downplay it and stuff, you know, especially women, but, you know, whatever. Um, the idea of, well, dismissing divorce, dismissing it as in it's, it's not that big a deal. Right. It's not, you know, as bad as it, you know, two people getting divorced. It's kind of OK. Well, they got divorced, whatever. Um, you know, it's not the 1950s anymore. Right. You know, it's not that idea. Of, well, you know, you have to stay together. You know, it's your duty. It's your job, you know, and stuff. There is validity to that. But, you know, if it's really just not working out, you know, get divorced, whatever. Um, several popular TV shows, the article mentions, uh, you know, they're talking about, you know, Cleaver Beaver, Leave it to Beaver, things like that. And then you can also look at others, you know, like Dick Van Dyke and stuff. That's not mentioned in the article, but, you know, that idea of, you know, the perfect family. Um, that was, you know, those shows were watched and those shows were, you know, idolized in ways. And that idea of the family was really ingrained in people that watched them. Um, a, the article gives a statistic. It's a little more than half, so about 58 percent 
live in that traditional household structure. So the man, the woman, the kid, you know, the rest of those kids don't. And, you know, that's a large percentage. It's a large number of people who don't live in those houses. So to say that it's not real and to say that it's wrong and you should stop it, well, that's just not realistic because of Um, this new mindset of family, you know, the idea, the old idea that, okay, well, you know, you got to go to work, you got to make money, come home, you have that duty to the family, right? That's what you are bred to do. That is kind of the ultimate goal. Um, that has become no longer the ultimate achievement. That's not what, you know, people are striving for. Um, really, they begin to, you know, live their lives a little bit more for themselves. And the idea of a family now is to give you personal satisfaction. So if you want a family, it's so that you are, you know, satisfied with life and you're starting a family. And refer to the history books. Um, now, this picture, it's, you know, obviously to, you know, very religious people, you know, it's, it probably has, you know, very, oh, yeah, oh, but you know, it's kind of creepy actually, honestly. Um, but you know, many of the ideas, you know, the family, you know, they come from religion, you know, the good old book and all that weird stuff. But you know, the idea that, you know, your family is supposed to look like this, these are the rules you must abide by because some book says it. Um, so in the article, Penny uh, Ed, Edgel, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, but she talked with, you know, a number of priests, you know, a number of people of the cloth, basically. Um, half of them were kind of, you know, more new agey, half of them more old school conservative. And, you know, the question was, you know, have there always been varying family structures, right? And is it okay to have that? Um, the kind of, you know, new age priests were like, yeah, you know, that, that has always been the case and people, you know, don't want to believe it, but it's true. And it is okay because it's a reality. Um, the hardcore conservative ones were like, you know, no, that's, you know, those are lies and, you know, you shouldn't do that. It's wrong because the Bible says it's wrong, you know, and that's stupid or whatever. Um, you know, so that idea of loss of translation, something that article mentions, the old man says, well, you know, people of faith are not perfect. And that's always kind of the point, right? You know, that whole idea of, well, you know, you find religion a little broken and hopefully it mends you, you know, because you're not perfect, but it's supposed to give you guidance. It seems like people since day one have really kind of forgotten that and lost meaning. And it's not really, you know, what type of structure your family is, right? You know, kind of the perfection, the, you know, how perfect it is. Um, So dynamic, rather constitutional. Um, so, you know, good old Ronald Reagan here, you know, a very, very popular photo of Ronald Reagan and people recognize it quite quickly when they see that. Um, but, you know, Reagan got divorced before he became president, you know, in 48, 49, um, he, divorced, he divorced his first wife. And so the idea of, you know, politicians, presidents, you know, getting a divorce, you know, many, many years before was always, you know, very looked down upon because, you know, it's, they're not sticking to, you know, traditions and not sticking to religion. Um, but, you know, that idea, it's, it's kind of, well, you know, it happens so we can forgive it. So the idea of diversity and forgiveness, you know, diversity within families, and that's okay. You can still, you know, serve your country, you know, in a, you know, political type standpoint. Um, and you can be forgiven for things like, you know, getting a divorce. It's not exactly like... Uh, the current discussion. So the picture here, we see Mary Cheney with her current wife, um, Poe. Uh, but, you know, the article discusses, you know, with, you know, Vice President Dick Cheney, you know, going up there and stuff. And, you know, Mary, the daughter, and, you know, the current wife now, you know, and stuff. Uh, the wife now, one more thing. Um, but, you know, oh, they're standing in the stands, you know. They're sitting in the stands and, you know, people see them and stuff. And, you know, oh, it's very nice. Uh, but then afterwards, they didn't go up on stage, you know, they didn't go up during the congratulations, things like that. So the idea is, you know, well, there's this, this real push for change. 
a lot of people still believe what they believe and they they hold fast in their beliefs and you know more so than people realize and people you know kind of referring back to the picture people say you know that they are okay with things but you know they're kind of just doing it for show you know again especially going back to the whole politician talk you know oh well, they'll say this they'll say that you know to connect with the people and get the votes but they don't really think that way Uh, so the future, so things could look, you know, very different, you know, as, as time goes by, if we continue these trends, these ideas, these discussions, you know, things will be very, very different. And this idea that this dream that people have made, you know, it's well, you know, this gay or lesbian politician can go up there and, you know, be proud and not be scared and, you know, their partner can be sitting in the stands and stuff and they don't have to be worried about it. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, you know, but these ideas aren't really new. You know, the article makes it think like it's new or it's revolutionary. I mean, the picture we see here, the Gay Liberation Day in 1970s, kind of one of the first, you know, you know, pride marches, basically. Um, so, I mean, these ideas and these discussions are not new, but it's just, you know, people don't want to accept it and stuff. And they really, you know, put things down and put people down. So it's, it's difficult to, you know, get on with it, I guess you So quiz question one, what is the definition of the perfect family? Well, D, obviously answering, you know, colored in blue, there isn't one. We found that there isn't one. The perfect family, the idea, well, you know, you have this traditional sense of family. Um, two, was a popular television show mentioned in the article? This is kind of just a fun question, but, uh, you know, hopefully you know Cleaver Beaver. Uh, three, the idea of having a family that shifted from working and bringing a paycheck home to what? Well, A, you know, like we talked about, personal satisfaction. You know, it's not really a duty sense anymore. Um, a kind of deontological study and whatever. It's really just, you know. Uh, four, what has been a large factor in how families were supposed to be structured historically? And as we see religion, these other things, okay, global warming's obviously a joke, politics and you know, education stuff, you know, yeah, sure. Again, there's probably some validity to that. Um, but um, what was seen as taboo for politicians, especially presidents, but has been laxed, you know, as of recently, well, you have things like divorce, right? Those things like divorce, you know, you didn't hold up that marriage. Um, politicians have claimed that they have support, you know, for gays and people that do not fit the traditional family structure. However, we have seen the reality of this as what? Well, while they may preach such support to the public, Um, the hope for the future is what? Uh, the people, they, you know, get blue. People value different family structures can progress politically without shame or worry. You know, so the idea of, you know, not sticking to that very strict, straight, and narrow kind of arrow type thinking, but, you know, uh, Family activities. So here's what you're going to do. The teacher is going to write up on the whiteboard um, three different categories. So, you know, men and women married. So parents, you know, still married, men and women. Um, divorce, you know, whatever. Um, or sorry, man, woman or other. No, no, sorry. Man and woman married, man and woman divorced. And then third, other. So any other kind of family structure you could think of, other. So obviously, you know, two very, you know, that very kind of traditional idea, you know, stepping away from that, that idea of divorce, and then something completely different. And this is going to be a heads up, seven up type kind of uh, ordeal. So everyone's going to put their heads down, close their eyes, make sure no one's looking. Teacher's going to read out three um, titles, and then kids are going to raise their hands. The teacher's going to mark up, tally up, basically, who raised their hands for what. Um, 
when that's all done, the kids are going to look up. And again, obviously, like uh, stated in the um, instructions, statistically, you're going to have at least one mark, right, in each category, um, probably more in each category. And so this shows, you know, just from one classroom, you can see how things vary so much. And that idea that, you know, what everyone thinks is the perfect transitional family, well, that's not the case for everyone. And it just kind of, again, you know, makes people a little bit more sympathetic, makes people a little bit more aware. So that's the presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, one final note, it, it's, you know, this is just kind of like my view on this, but it's like, you know, maybe I shouldn't say it, whatever. But it, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of like, okay, well, you know, like that picture, that picture where, um,